This is third video on soft matter physics, focusing on surfactants. Surface active agent is surfactant. A simpler definition can be derived from a very common experience that the oil and water do not mix. Allow me to explain what I mean. In general, you can divide the world of liquid in terms of its solubility, roughly speaking, into two types, polar and nonpolar. The classic example of polar molecule is water. It is called polar molecule because if you zoom inside the water, you will find the molecule of water which has two poles, pole of negative side towards oxygen and pole of positive towards hydrogen, whereas the oil is nonpolar in nature. And the universal rule is nonpolar liquid dissolve in nonpolar and polar liquid dissolve in polar, but they never dissolve in each other. That is why the oil does not dissolve in water, because oil is nonpolar and water is polar. But what it has to do with the surfactants? Well, surfactant can be looked as a hybrid molecule. By that I meant surfactants, one part is polar, the head, and another part is nonpolar, the tail. This means one side would love water and would like to dissolve in water, and another would love oil and would like to dissolve in oil. The real fun begins now. What happens if you put some surfactants molecule in water? Remember, water is polar by nature. So the surfactants in water will crumble together in such a way that water-loving head will face the water and water-hating tail will hide by aggregating together. Now you can guess what a surfactant will do if you keep them in oil. In a similar but in opposite fashion, the head will stick together with tail hanging outside. This crumble of surfactants has a fancy name called micelles. But what will happen if you put some surfactants into the mixture of oil and water? Let's say the quantity of oil is less in this mixture. Let's look at this tiny oil drop embedded inside the water. I'm making it bigger for us to see what is happening. The tail part of the surfactants will go and stick with the oil with its head facing towards the water. In another word, the surfactants go in the interface of oil and water. They have a fancy name called emulsion, but the point is this is exactly how your detergent work. In the process of hand washing, you are making emulsion. The dot stick with your oil in your hands and during hand washing process, you put the surfactants with the help of a soap and start making emulsion. Those emulsions are carried away by the water mixed with the soap along with the dart in your hands. Another important structure you can make from surfactants is lamellae. Yes, some fancy name for a bilayer structure made by two linear sets of surfactants molecule. Such bilayer structure can sometimes even show the property of a wave with the existence of different modes. You can also make cylindrical structure from surfactants. Here you can also vary the diameter of such cylinder or even the length of the cylinder. Such structure can sometimes behave like polymer. If you remember from our first episode, the long linear chain of molecules. As a matter of fact, sometimes such cylindrical surfactants are used in shampoo to increase the viscosity. If you are looking for structures made of surfactants in mother nature, look inside your own body. Every cell is made of, of bilayer. If you close the structure of bilayer, you can have a vesicles. Of course, bilayer in your body are not as simple as I have drawn here. They have different proteins embedded in them to do more fancier job. For example, they can close and open the door as per requirement of the cell. By now, you must have realized you can make many more structures from surfactants, which I wish if I could fit in this small video. But the point is, you can play on making different structures and then make your own newly built structure to do some other cool stuff. Building such structure roughly depend on the size of the surfactant's head, or length of the tail, or sometimes even on the number of the tails. You can move from one structure to another structure by changing the temperature depending on different concentration. You can do many cool stuff. Well, that is all studied in soft matter physics. Thank you for watching.